And the basic actually understanding came from uh, a lot of animal and experimental studies uh, showing that that anterior nucleus of thalamus that is a key uh, kind of a part of the circuit of PES there, and 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 that is controlling our like these emotion or also like it has a very uh, like strong connection to to, to hippocampi and of course there are the and, and the the key regions that we have for temporal lobe epilepsy and on the other hand now it's it's like it's not totally understand understood that that what we really do there we know from from uh, like uh, previous studies that ANT actually is uh, very early activated when seizures begin there. So it actually it's, it's part of the epileptic network, and and it has it has a lot to do uh, with controlling kind of the consciousness during the the, the seizures. And 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 what seems to be the case here that actually when we stimulate A and T, the A and T, uh, then we kind of we we can protect the consciousness the consciousness of the patients, and therefore we can uh, kind of. Uh, um, interrupt the propagation of the seizure activity that causes awareness with the with the patient with refractory epilepsy or the let's say the old term secondary generation leading to to these focal to bilateral tonic-clonic seizures. But it, all, there are a lot of details that we really don't understand yet so well there that there's also like there are a strong, a very, um, let's say, detailed connection of different parts of the anterior nucleus of thalamus to different parts of the brains. And it seems like now the, 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 the our anatomical understanding and our functional understanding about what happens there when we, when we stimulate ATD is, is something that, that is like yeah, that knowledge is, is growing. Well, neurological changes is that that actually it seems like that what we have we can see like long term effects like like many forms of neuro neuromodulation actually the you get these um, you, the longer you you stimulate the 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 more changes you see there and and actually all all these uh, let's say the effects can take take some time there but what we kind of what we assume that you you change the the, the network, let's say, interdependence in, in these patients, of course, they have these epileptic networks that, that are associated with the, with the disease. And it seems like somehow uh, when we when we activate, uh, stimulate the anterior nucleus of thalamus, we can restore the, the order and the connectivity that is related to, to the normal brain. So something happens over time there. It has also have some some kind of neuromodulatory effect there, and 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 it has to do something with the brain plasticity there. But again, these things are very difficult to study in, in human beings. But but still, what we are seeing here that that we are kind of correcting something in the in the in the brain activity more to the, to the normal direction. And of course, you need to have, you know, some sort of uh, normal structure in your brain before you get good e effect of the deep uh, brain stimulation here. Because now, if, you, if your brain networks are very deranged, so actually you don't have the existing connections in order to, to kind of to, to convey the, the, uh, the effects of the, the, the stimulation for that reason, I think like you, you need to have um, uh, some, uh, let's say, you, you, that if your brain is very deranged, for instance, like if you have a, a severe uh, intellectual disability and a brain is very malformed, it might be that you you can lack these networks that are that are important for the for the effect of the ATDPS therapy.